Hello, Diver Nome is back. And in this video, we're going to unlock the newest fight style, the Song Green Art, in update 20 of Bluff Roots. But before start, if you show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Hi, guys, did you watch our video on how to unlock the Shark Anchor? If yes, thank you. If not yet, here's the link on the upper right side of the screen. So, guys, Shark Anchor is the newest sword in this update but for now we are going to unlock the newest fight style in this game the sanguine art so guys this is not an easy task i'm telling you it's very hard but worth it but before we start unlocking this fight style check it out guys my new avatar <laughs> a cat a cat with tree sword style not bad right so here is the npc guy shafi but before you even talk to him you need to do something okay and what is that Guys, first, let's talk about the requirements. So first off, guys, you need a boat, a certain boat. But guys, uh, if you want to make things faster, just look for a friend or someone who has the boat, right? But guys, if you want to do it on your own, using your own boat, you need to craft the Beast Hunter, okay? So the Beast Hunter here are the requirements. So I'm going to make this fast. I'm going to show you all the requirements needed. If you already watched, again, my previous video, you will find everything except for this one the leviathan scale so guys let me make this fast so first up where will you find the material so guys just uh, roam around the sea there you go make sure that there is a level right so level zero you won't be fighting anything i guess but once you reach level one yes as you can see the bar is increasing and as you can see we are at level one there you go okay so guys notice the back there you go there's a shark Okay, so what will you get from defeating this one? Let's defeat this and we will find out. Oh, for my build, uh, I am using Magma V2 plus Shark V4, okay? So there you go. So once we defeat this one, we will get the item, one of the items required in order to craft the Beast Hunter. Okay, so as you can see, we're defeating the Shark. There you go, guys. We got the Shark Tooth. Okay, so this is where you will get one of the requirements. There you go, an uncommon material. Next up, guys, the piranhas. Yes, there are piranhas here. So as you can see, they're flying. So obviously, we will be getting the electric wings here. So yes, a proof that we're going to get them. There you go, we're going to defeat them. There you go, guys, electric wing. No, we already get one, so that's an electric wing. <laughs> okay. Let's make things fast here. There you go. Okay, so next up, guys. What is next? Hmm, for our next item, let's talk about the Fool's Gold. So guys, there will be ship raids here. So every time you defeat one, I don't know if uh, it's the same with the uh, big or small ships. You will get three golds full. So there you go. That one is attacking our friend ship. So let's go and attack it. Also guys, this is one of the most annoying uh, parts of the sea event. It has high damage. If ever, they will be hitting your ships. So there you go, you will also get fragments. Also guys, just a reminder, just in case, okay, you defeat one ship, big ship, and you don't get anything, just check your items. This is an example of it. Check it out, I will be defeating this one. Nothing will appear. There you go, see that guys, nothing appeared, but check your items. There you go, there are three new items there. And with that, I can assure you that those three items are the gold's full. There you go, guys. See that? Okay. So we're done with three materials, right? Next up is the mutant tooth and the terror eye. So guys, you can get that from defeating the terror shark. So guys, more items will be given to you the higher the HP. So we defeated 195k terror shark and we got a terror eye and a mutant tooth. Okay, so that's it. One item remaining, guys. There you go. That one is the Leviathan scale. Okay, Gamer Nom, so how do you get one? Guys, obviously, you need to defeat the Leviathan. I think this is the main boss in this update. So, guys, this NPC is very important. So, make sure to talk to him every time you start your expedition. Make sure to pay him fragments or bribe him until he says this. There you go, guys. Go find it before it causes more destruction. Meaning the Leviathan is out. One more requirement, guys. You need more than five... Uh, members of your exploration team if you don't have that the leviathan is too shy to go out okay so make sure you have more than five or five 
Also, you need to head to the level 6 area. Okay, the hardest part. There you go. As you can see, you can see anything and spend lots and lots of hours. Or maybe if you're lucky, find this area, guys. I think, I don't know. I forgot the name of this one. This one, guys. There you go. As you can see, there's a gate. Okay, not the terror shark. Okay, there you go. That gate. And once you find that, make sure that you are with your team. And there you go, guys. You will be fighting the Leviathan. So some tips. As a team, guys, make sure that you will attack one segment, okay? Because you cannot directly attack the Leviathan at first. As you can see, there's a yellow HP or yellow bar under its main HP. So you need to destroy that first by defeating segments of the Leviathan. So there you go, guys. So every segment that you defeat or destroy or part of him will give you the scale. So we won't be defeating this. We will. I will just show you that we will be getting one actually uh, more than one scale after defeating one segment okay so make sure that you damage also make sure to survive because I almost died here on one of our expeditions okay we're almost done here destroying this segment also guys after this we will be fast forwarding to defeating the Leviathan and I'm gonna show you something why you need the boat okay so there you go five Leviathan scales so guys before this NPC will talk to you he will be asking for a cold heart so guys you will get the cold heart here once you defeat the Leviathan but but not so fast guys <laughs> I'm gonna show you once we defeat this one there you go guys the Leviathan's heart is too big <laughs> and you need something to carry it back to Tiki Outpost. Let's track it first. There you go. And we're gonna find the heart. There you go. Gamer Gnome, so what are we going to use in order to carry this one? Guys, if you're gonna guess, can you guess what? Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys. Remember the Beast Hunter, the new boat, the new legendary boat that we're gonna craft? Guys, we need that one in order to carry, actually uh, pull this heart to our starting point, the outpost, right? Again, let me remind you, if you have a friend that has the Beast Hunter, you don't need to craft this one, okay? But if you're a real collector, guys, make sure to get this one. So here is the Beast Hunter. I don't own this. Shout out to Tom. Guys, as you can see, in front of it, there is the Harpoon. There you go, guys. You can use this one. You can control this using WASD. And there you go, okay? So you need to use this boat towards the island where you will find Leviathan, this one. Guys, uh, it took us, I think, just to beat two Leviathans, more than six hours or seven hours. So there you go, guys. Frozen Dimension. It is called Frozen Dimension. Okay, so very well. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So there you go, guys. Again, we're gonna fast forward this one. We're gonna defeat this fast. The Leviathan, guys. Guys, uh, four or three years ago, I dreamt of doing this, exploring the seas with my friends and doing something. And uh, yeah, thanks to the developers. Really good update. So there you go, guys. Again, the new quest. And we're gonna use the Beast Hunter to get. There you go, guys. The heart. Guys, this, this is so cool, I'm telling you guys. And this is one of the hardest parts, okay? Not, not, not defending the boat, but making sure that the owner of the boat doesn't disconnect. By this time, I think Tom has 600 ping, right? I'm not, I, I can't remember it, but anyway, shout out to Tom. Also, let me take this opportunity to thank everyone who joined me in this expedition. I will be shouting them out as promised. Okay, so we have 4,500 meters away. Anyways, guys. Let me shout out everyone who took part on the exploration. Again, thank you guys. First off, shout out to Kato. Shout out to King Bacon. Shout out to Sean. Shout out to Fire God. Shout out to Dark God. Shout out to Himothy. Shout out to Joy Boy. Shout out to Emergency Food. Shout out to Jugs 200 And shout out to God Noob. Okay, also shout out to Tom. He's always there. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it. Again, thank you and I really appreciate the help. Okay, so back to the video. We're almost there, guys. I actually, it's kind of far. 4,000. Guys, we're gonna fast forward this part, okay? <laughs> it took us, I think, four to five minutes. I'm not, I, I, I can't remember. So there you go, guys. Once you return to the outpost, 
you know guys it's lagging the tiki outpost okay that's the name you will be getting the leviathan heart okay there you go one leviathan heart now guys you can now talk to shafi and pc and are we done gamer no no he will give us the next set of requirements. So guys, next set of requirements, easy demonic wisp, 20, 20 vampire francs, and 2 dark fragment. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna show you where you will get all those materials. So first is the demonic wisp. That's kind of easy. But for those who don't know, here it is. Guys, you only need to head to this area. And what area is this? The haunted castle where you fight skeletons, right? But we're, gonna, we're not gonna fight skeletons here. Head to the main building go and look for the what is the name of that wait i'm gonna show you i forgot the name guys sorry i apologize here guys in the main building there you go the demonic soul okay demonic souls and i'm gonna just gonna show you that it is true that you will get those materials here okay not that one okay, please give me demonic wisp there you go oh Oh, boom, sorry. Again, please, demonic quest. Oh, we're about to get awakened. Okay. Guys, check it out. It's kind of cool, like, playing first person. Should I make a video? First person, guys. I'm gonna finish, or I'm gonna do a noob to pro. <laughs> there you go, guys. Demonic quest, finally. Okay, so that's it. You need 20 of those. Okay. So I think once, there you go guys, 20 demonic wisps. I don't need to get 20 or show you 20. Next up guys, the vampire fang. So it is located on the second C. Okay, so if you know a mob that gives out in the third C, comment it in the comment section. So guys, just head to the graveyard at the cave. You will find the vampires here. Okay, so the best I think here is cyborg plus blizzard. Cyborg B4, just use one skill and they're all dead. Same with the demonic uh, souls. There you go. Left clicks. Pack, pack, pack. Pack, 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 pack. <laughs> okay. Vampire Fang. There you go, guys. So, Gamer Nom, how much do you need? Guys, you need 20 of those. Okay. There you go. 20. And last but not the least, you need the fragment, dark fragment. So, I won't be showing you that. But, guys, you can get that from Dark Beard. The boss in the dark arena, you need Fist of Darkness, so you can get one on chests every 4 hours. You got 18. Or uh, from Sea Beasts on the second sea, okay? So that's it. After that, when you got all the requirements, all you need to do is go back to our NPC here. Okay. Next set of requirements. Okay, 5 million bellies and 5,000 fragments. Guys, and that's it. Finally, guys, we will be able to unlock the newest fight style and don't go yet. We will be showcasing it. Okay, so it has three skills. Max, mastery, guys. Don't worry. So this fight style has three skills. First one is the Black Bane Drain. For me, this is one of its best skills. There you go. For the range, it's really also good. Okay, one more time. And the best thing about this one is it has lifesteal. So guys, imagine Buddha Fruit users using this one. There you go. Check the HP. For our next skill, we got the Scarlet Tear. Guys, check it out. Long range slashes. There you go. Okay. For the C skill, we got the Devourer of Worlds. So guys, this skill has two modes. First one is if you hit your enemy, there you go. Max damage. But just in case you don't hit your enemy or you missed on purpose, guys, I use this one to grind. There you go. The orb will hit enemies around it. So guys, if you have four enemies, those enemies will be lured with those orbs. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it, guys, for this video. Good luck on unlocking the new fight style. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.